One of the main issues I had when starting Escape from Tarkov is I never knew where the loot spawns were or where the extracts were. I was confused and there was no all-in-one resource of a more experienced player showing me where the loot spawns were and where the extracts were. Hopefully, today I can answer some unsolved questions and clear up some confusion about the map customs in Escape from Tarkov. Hey everyone, I'm Feltens back here with another Escape from Tarkov video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at customs, a map on Escape from Tarkov. More importantly, we're going to be taking a look at some great loot spawns and how to survive our raids more efficiently. Because of course, the only way to effectively loot and make a profit is by surviving at the end. So we'll be sharing some tips today on the map customs. In addition to loot, I'm also going to be talking about map overlay. I'm going to be decoding the best way to remember some loot spawns and some routes to take when playing customs. I'll also be putting timestamps down below just for some of you more experienced players that don't really want to see the map overlay and just want to cut to the straight loot. So you guys can skip around to whatever part of the video interests you. Like I said, timestamps down below. Also, be sure to let me know in the comments if I miss anything in this video today. Always be sure to let other people know and help out in the comments. And um, that's one great thing I like about this community we have. Everybody likes to help each other out. So be sure to let me know if I miss anything. Yeah, hopefully I can help you guys out with the rest of this video. So let's get straight into it. All right, so right now we're going to be taking a look at the customs map. So as you guys can see, we have um, the customs map all in front of us. So for some newer players, they'll be confused on mainly spawn points, extract points, best places to loot, and how everything connects to each other, how they can keep some mental notes on best places to take routes. So in my mind, in the back of my mind, when I'm playing customs, I know that there's four main areas and this is just how I think of it. Some people might have different strategies, but um, in my mind, I work. There's four different areas. As you can see, I'm highlighting with my cursor on the screen. This great area over here on the very left of the map, I uh, call it the customs office side. And that's because on the customs big red building is the office key you need for multiple quests. And I like to clump up this entire side together because, of course, the river running by kind of like secludes it from the rest of the map. So I like to call that side its own place. Um, we'll be getting into showing off some of the loot areas on this place. But just want to remind you guys that the crossroads and trailer park extract are always open on this side of the map. And if you spawn on this right side of the map, you're going to be needing to run all the way over here and extracting by either crossroads or trailer park i know trailer park has little question marks by it but it is always open in every single raid and you guys can quote me on that because i've been running customs a bunch and know this for a fact the two extracts that will also be open if you spawn on the right side of the map are the ruaf roadblock and of course the smuggler's boat now sometimes these guys have a chance of not spawning the way you will know if ruaf or smuggler's boat is there is if there is a little campfire lit by smuggler's boat or if there's lights on the Ruaf roadblock. I'm sure I'll be putting some visuals for you guys to see the, uh, what I'm talking about, but that's Ruaf roadblock and Smuggler's Boat extract. And those are only if you spawn on what I like to call the boiler side of the map. So as you guys can see that I'm highlighting with my cursor, this entire side with factory far corner all the way to warehouse form is what I like to call boiler side. The reason why I like to call it that is because of these four main silos over here by the ZB11 extract. Now it's important to remember if you guys spawn on the left side of the map where the customs building is or by storage, you're going to be having to run all the way at the end over here by the ZB11 extract. This extract is always open and it is the only extract always open if you spawn on that side of the map. You may also extract ZB12, but ZB12 is only open sometimes and is only open whenever the light above flashes from it. Now, I know this is just words and we're only looking at a map and it would help to have some visuals. So I'll be putting some pictures up for you guys later on in the video. We're going to be going through the entire map and we're going to be going one by one through each one of these zones. Now, for the two next zones that I like to think about in the mental note of my brain, I like to call this side right here in the lower half um, the customs expansion side. And the reason why I like to call it that is because a long time ago, this was never actually in the map. And we only had about half of this right here. So in patch 12.7, they added a great amount of space. They added what I like to call the crack house building, which is right here. That spawns the intel spawns and some meds. I'm sure you guys know about it. And right here, um, what I like to call stronghold with the ZB13 extract that you'll be needing power to be turned on to use, which is right here. I'll be putting some visuals up for you guys. Um, so this is what I like to call the uh, customs expansion side. We're gonna be focusing on the customs expansion side a bunch. There's a lot of great loot areas here. Just remember mental note of these different areas and how they connect to each other. 
And lastly, but certainly not least, we have the dorm side. Now, I like to think of this entire um, northern half as the dorm side. The reason why I like to call it that is mainly just because, you know, there's not much else going on on this right side. So I just clump it up with dorms. Mainly, we're going to have a lot of trees and woods here. And we're going to have our dorm buildings and our power station little building over here on the top. We're also going to have our gas station a little uh, towards the middle of the map right here. And these are all great places to loot. Obviously, dorms is amazing with the mark room. Um, I made a separate video on the mark room before. I'll be sure to put it up on the top right right now. It was a great video. I'll also leave it in the description down below. I go over if the mark room is definitely worth it or not. And well, that's subject for another video. But dorms, new gas station, and of course, the little power station up on top of the hill. Now, you guys might be thinking, well, how does this all clump together? How does this all help me? It's just always good to have a mental note of knowing where you are on the map, knowing where you're close to, what loot areas there are. I know for some newer players, it is hard to understand the map just by, you know, looking at it and you're going to need to play some games. Um, I recommend watching some better players and more experienced players play customs or other maps just by learning them. Now, with that said, I do stream Escape from Tarkov almost daily and I'll be putting the link in the description down below. Um, without getting too much into detail with how the map layout is, that's how I like to think about it. I know I could go way more into detail and show off each part and how it connects, which we will be doing later on in the video with the loot spawns. Now, Customs does have a lot of loot, and there are certain ways of looting it without running into players. I'll be showing off some tactics on how to loot it, where to go, some main areas, and I'll also be showing you guys on the map where I am at the same time. So let's hop into the raid and show off some loot spawns. All right, so here we are on the customs map. Right now we're on the boiler side with the silos right here. As we can see, the four silos. I'll be sure to put it up on screen for you guys so you know what I'm talking about. And right here we have the ZB11 extract, um, one of the main extracts of the map. So how I go about looting this side, there's actually a great ton of loot here and not a lot of people know about it. So pay close attention because this is possibly the most profitable side of all of customs. So what I like to do is I come here inside of this bush and there actually is a hidden cache right here. So I'll be sure to check this. I'll pull whatever I can out of it. You can actually get some really great stuff from here. Once I'm done looting that, I'll come all the way over here towards the admin gate, this red gate over here. And there actually is a second hidden cache over here. So we come past the silos and right here next to this red gate is actually uh, another cache. So here we go. Another cache right here. We loot that. We're all good. We come through this hole in the wall right here. This actually is the edge of the map right here. And we run past right here a little UN uh, car. There is a duffel bag here. I wouldn't loot that because it's out in the open. In here, we have some loose loot uh, attachment spawns. We also have a toolbox right here to loot. We can come here and we can loot right here um, some attachment spawns as well. So if we go all the way across here through the woods towards the dorm side, this is military base checkpoint right here. I'll put it up on the map as well. Some scabs do spawn around here. If we come through here, there actually is another um, hidden cache. So we'll come through here towards military base, base checkpoint, which actually is an extraction point. If you're scabbing in, um, you can actually have a chance of pulling this extraction point. And right here next to this garbage can, this blue garbage can is another hidden cache. So we could loot that if we please. Right here is a player spawn though. So be careful for that. And also we pass the player spawn next to this rock. So players do spawn around here. If you're coming from the silos, be sure to keep an eye out for players because it can get a little hectic at times. Running back to the silos, there actually is a great deal of loot. Uh, usually I won't come through this side. I'm just showing off the loot for you guys in case you're over here. But usually I won't come to this side just because it's out in the open and there's not a ton of loot. Um, towards the silos, there are some better loot spawns. But if we do circle back over here, inside of these bushes is another hidden cache and you can find a great deal of loot. I believe it's inside of these bushes. Yeah, right here. So you guys come out the hole through the wall, take a uh, sharp left, and it's over here on this side. If you can take a look right here, this is the hole in the wall. We just came through um, right in front of the silos right here. And it is important to remember this is the edge of the map, just so you guys don't get confused on the positioning or placing. 
So running through the middle of the silos going towards the ZB11 extract, there actually is a pretty decent building in here. So it has a chance of spawning loose loot and there are some PCs and tool sets inside. So before we go inside this building right here next to the ZB11 extract over there, there is a hidden cache right here. You could loot this if you please and you could come in here, make your way inside. Now indoors, there actually is um, loose loot spawns right here on the ground. Sometimes you can find water filters that go for 100k on the flea market. And there is a uh, technical supply crate here. You can also find some great stuff in here, some bolt screws, stuff like that. They're worth a lot on the flea market right now, so be sure to check that. Um, running through this way, there actually is a food spawn here, so be sure to check this for sugar. And there is a grenade box here, so be sure to check this for grenades. Like F1 nades, RGDs, stuff like that, as you guys can see. Wow. <laughs> I named them both, didn't I? So F1 RGDs, you can find them in there. You can also find fuses, which you can trade for VOG 17s at mechanic level one. Um, right here, we got some loot, loose loot spawns on the floor. Uh, tool set, as you guys can see, toolbox running through here. We actually have two PCs, one, two, a toolbox right here, some loose loot spawns on the ground right here, uh, weapon box right here, and two jackets right here. So be sure to check those. Running outside, coming straight towards the left, we can see this is the ZB11 extract we keep talking about. Use this as a point of reference, you'll be needing to remember where this is. And we also have uh, the hidden cache that I looted in the back. So coming through this way towards the opposite side of the map, we're now running towards the, um, towards the custom side, but we still have a long ways to go. We take a right here. There actually is a pretty big building in here. I wouldn't recommend looting it. There are some weapon boxes that I'll uh, show off. So you climb up these um, railings and there are some weapon boxes up at the top. Right here, we can see a weapon box over here. And on that one, there is a weapon box as well. So going down towards here, there actually is a blue van that has two PCs inside of it. That has a chance of spawning flash drives. I have found two flash drives at a time, so if you still have that quest, be sure to check this right here. And they can spawn actually on top of the PCs, not inside. So be sure to check on top. I wouldn't spend a great deal of time here because it can get a little hectic with the sniper scav location right over there. Moving through this way, we're still on the boiler side. Um, this big building right here, there actually is a great deal of loot here. So running through here, we can actually go up these stairs and we can make way towards a bunch of loot spawns. There actually is some rooms here. So coming through here, check all of these couches for food and sugar. Here are two jackets right here. Running inside of here on the floor, we can find water filters and of course fuel as well. On these tables, we can also find weapon attachments. So be sure to check those. And on these cabinets, we can find some loose loot, like technical stuff. Uh, flat screwdrivers, metal cutting scissors, these go for a lot on the flea market. Here we have a weapons box, you guys can check this as well. Running through here, there's a little room. Um, right here, there's actually ammo and food spawn, so be sure to check this. Running through here on the mannequin, there is a roller watch spawn that goes for around 400k on the flea market, so be sure to check that as well. And right here, there is some gold necklace spawn chances. All right, so running out of here, we can go back towards the main area of the building that we came in from. And we can actually run up these stairs over here. Now, if we go up these stairs, this is called the green screen room. And the reason why it's called the green screen room is because, ta-da, green screen. Check down here for graphics cards and Tetris spawns. Um, they do spawn pretty often, so be sure to check here. There also is some loose loot like Hel Helix's power cords. We've got two PCs right here, check those. Running inside of this room, there's a duffel bag right here, a jacket right here, and some weapon attachment spawns on these tables right here. So check those. Um, running into this bathroom right here. There is a jacket right there Running inside of this next room toolbox right here loose loot on these cabinets another toolbox and a uh, Medical container right here So running out there actually is another duffel bag right here If you guys want to loot that go ahead and we can come outside and run towards this way so that is going to probably um, be all of this side of the map towards the ZB11 side. Now we're still on the boiler side. We're going to be running through this way. Um, I would not recommend this route because it is a little out in the open. There's a second route you guys can take over this way where you have to jump over the fence. But uh, for all intents and purposes, we're going to go this way just to show off some of the different areas. 
So running over here will actually make towards the middle of the map where the gas station is. As you guys can see overhead, that red area is the gas station. There is some warehouses here. Um, I wouldn't recommend looting them just because there is not a lot of loot spawns. There is some weapon crates inside of them. You could go and loot those. That's totally up to you. But the one number one thing I would recommend from this area um, and this area alone is right here. We can actually find uh, a way to jump over the fence. So if we come here, we can actually go up above through here onto there by jumping. Or if you have the factory key, you can actually unlock this and jump, uh, go through here through the doors. Or if you're all the way on this side, you could actually jump up on that trash can and jump over to the gas station side. Now, before we jump over to the gas station side, I just want to show you guys that there is actually a power here. And to turn on the power, we go through here and right here's the power. So you guys might be asking, why do I need to know where the power is? Because the power turns on the ZB13 extract. And if you're at Stronghold or the customs expansion side, like I said before, um, you're going to be wanting to turn the power on to use that extract in addition with the factory key. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to the other side, jumping through here. Before we jump through here, we're going to want to check this car right here. There is a chance of an Ollie key spawn that is needed for a quest and can go for an upwards of 200 to 400k. I'm not entirely sure how much it is in the flea market right now, but I know a few weeks ago I spent nearly 500k on this key. So be sure to check this uh, car right here. We jump on top here and you want to make sure you're not running and you're just jumping like that. Be sure to walk jump. Don't run because you'll mess up the jump. And even if you have level one strength, you can still make this jump. So you're going to jump through there. You're going to jump over this. And now we're towards uh, the dorm side of the map, running towards gas station. There actually is a ton of loot spawns. One warning though, Rashala, the scav boss on this map does spawn here. And I'll be sure to put a video card up showing you um, a video I made about farming Rashala and, you know, explaining Rashala. So coming towards the gas station, there's an ambulance here. Be sure to check the back of the ambulance. The Emercom key does spawn here and the Emercom key can sell for an upwards of 400k. So be sure to check that running in through here. We actually have two GPU spawns. They can actually spawn on these shelves right here. Um, and I believe right here as well. And coming in through here, there also is a GPU spawn on this table. This time we got a relay um, right here. We have a duffel bag. Check that. We have some loose med spawns on the couches. And right here we have two rooms that are needed for keys. Um, I have the keys, but for all intents and purposes, I'll not be showing off the rooms just because some of the newer players won't be having the keys. So we have a weapon box right here and we can go outside. We have a little um, money spawns over here by the cash registers. And that's about it for the gas station, of course, excluding the keys. Running towards this way through the gas station, I'll be showing off dorms last. We're actually going to go back towards uh, where we came from. So to go back towards uh, the boiler side, I'm going to be using the factory key. There is a way to jump over, but it is a little uh, further and I'll not be showing that off right now. Right now I am using the factory key as you guys can see right here. It comes with 50 uses and um, it uses up each time you use it. So we're using two uses of the factory key to get to the other side and we're going to come through this way. So this was the power and through here, if we're still on the boiler side, we're going to make our way towards the expansion side through the old gas station so when you guys see this tipped over train car um this means you're actually towards the old gas station which has a ton of loot spawns so we're going to come through here go underneath the bridge first thing we're going to notice is this blue van right here we can actually find some food spawns down here and up here sometimes you can find mres iskras or even some vodka and you can sell those on the flea market for a good deal of money um, right here, there is a weapons box. I don't usually loot it because it's out in the open. If we come through, if we come towards the old gas station, there is actually some loose spawns right here on these tables. It is important to remember that these tables can spawn every single uh, item in the game. So sometimes you can find backpacks or uh, duffel bags or whatever it might be. And there is a chance of spawning a red key card insanely low but you always want to be checking here and sometimes you can even find uh streamer items like the plague mask that you'll be needing for kappa as well as what i like to call the giving tree right here the giving tree has a chance of spawning every item in the game and right here is a duffel bag for meds if you want to loot that right here we do have a loot table uh buried cache you can loot that if you guys want coming through here 
we actually have what I like to call the expansion site. Once again, I'll be putting up uh, a map of the expansion site so you guys know what I'm talking about. This is where Crack House and Stronghold are. So if you follow these trains over here and we come through this side right here, we'll actually reach the edge of the map. And you guys don't want to run too far through the edge of the map because sniper scavs will shoot you and kill you on site. As you guys can see, this little uh, sniper scav thingy up here. But the reason why we're running here is because there is a buried cache right here. As you guys can see, uh, you want to loot that and then you want to make your way towards this side. So just remember, don't pass this dead scav right there because that will be at the point of where they will shoot you. So running through here, we have Stronghold. Now Stronghold does have a great deal of spawns. But before we go into Stronghold, you guys always want to remember Rishala, the scav boss on this map, does have a chance of spawning here as well. Um, so I talked about gas station and I can spawn there. He can also spawn here. So right here we have a weapons box. We can come through here into the main side of the building and we have another weapons box inside of this little car right there. And right here we have some loose um, spawns on this table right here. As we can see, there's food sometimes here. Right on these shelves, there is some technical supplies. And right here we have some big crates. We have three crates right here. Med spawns right here. Uh, med box right there food spawns right here and a weapons box right here as well as two jackets so you guys want to be looking through those we have food spawns right here sometimes you can find sugar and if we go inside of this we got food all along right here duffel bag weapons box we got some um high tier like loot items not really high tier they're more like gold items but the low tier end so we're talking horses chainlets stuff like that sometimes you can find food as well and we can also find food food here as well as vodka which can be sold on the flea market so that's about it for the first floor of the stronghold if we go towards the second floor um we can actually find some fuel spawns right here ammo spawns right there coming through here we have a large technical crate right here and a toolbox right there. Coming through here, we have some loose weapon attachments over here. And as well as here, we got some ammo spawns. And coming through this side, we have a med box right there. Loose ammo on the ground right here. And a food uh, container over here that does have a chance of spawning sugar. So be sure to check that as well. Now, some of you may be asking, Rat Stronghold, where is the ZB13 extract? Well, actually, if we go down the stairs through here and we go all the way towards the bottom floor in the basement, here it is. If we use our factory key, we can actually open it and we run through all the way at the end where the extract is, as you guys can see, extraction. And that's only there because I did turn the power on. If you guys don't turn the power on, you can actually open the grate, but once you go inside, you can't extract. It won't let you. It'll tell you to go back and turn the power on. So if you guys are using this extract, be sure to remember to turn the power on. Running up the stairs, we're gonna go outside of Stronghold. So we're gonna come through here. And we're going to run through here. So I usually don't like running through the open. I'll take one of the left or right sides and we'll hug the walls over here. Always remember, don't go over there. The sniper scabs will kill you. Um, but over here, we can see this building over here with the little blue panels for the glass. This is what I like to call the crack house. The reason why I like to call it that is because there's a ton of med spawns as well as intel spawns. So we'll go through here. This door is always closed. Keep that in mind. And this door is always open. Um, there's some med spawns right here on the ground as well. There's a med box right here and in through here I actually think there isn't anything to loot, but you can actually take a really good um, vantage point of people in the outside over here Right here. We have some food spawns on these shelves inside of this little closet. We have I believe a uh, Food spawns and as well as a duffel bag and we also have a little jacket with some ammo spawns right here So be sure to check that and if we come through here on the right there is actually a chance of sugar spawning here. There's a duffel bag in the back and a jacket here. Inside of this t uh, inside of this room right here, we have a jacket. We also have um, a lot of attachment spawns right here. Be sure to check this. Sometimes you can get some great attachments here. We also have a dead scab we can loot and we have a duffel bag. So that's that. And if we go towards um, the top of Crack House is actually where the great loot spawns. So we'll be talking about that room in a bit. So in the main room, there is some med spawns along here and across these little um, tables. There's some loot spawns. Augmentons go for around 20k. Morphine sometimes spawn here, so be sure to check that. We also have med spawns here and across here. So Lee Wallace there. A lot of great goodies. And through here, we have some ammo spawns right here and a lot of med spawns on these shelves right here. 
All right, so here is the Intel spawn room. There actually is a great deal of loot here. So first we got these cabinets. You can loot those. Always be sure to check along these um, cabinets as well because Intel could actually spawn on top of these cabinets. As we can see, there's a little bit of paper there. Also, Intel can spawn on the ground, so be sure to check the ground. Sometimes you can also find some condensed milk on the ground, which goes for around 15K to therapist. So be sure to check that. Moving outside a crack house, what I like to do is I'll go through right here. Jump on top of these boxes, crouch down, jump on the roof, and go down through here. Now, we are actually making our way out of the expansion side towards the river. And over there will be the big red side with the customs office. Before we go towards the customs office, I would like to show off the dorm side. So if we're going to run towards the dorm side. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Right now, this is the river over here. There are some scav spawns alongside here, so you want to watch out for that. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to run across the river. We're going to go straight across the river towards the end of the map. Remember, customs is east-west. Most of the map is a straight line. So a lot of it is just going to be running across. That's why we're going to run towards the edge of the map really quick here, um, going in north-south. So right here, we have a little shack that spawns food. If you guys want to check that, be sure to go ahead. So um, there is a few scav spawns right here. And heading into the forest through this way, um, this is the expansion and boiler site over there. Gas station was over there. And of course, Big Red is over there. So coming through this way, running through the forest, we're actually going to make our way towards dorms. Now, dorms is a great area only if you have the keys for it. There is a ton of PvP. There is some loose loot, but mainly you're going to want to be needing some keys if you're going to be coming over here. I'm going to be showing off the dorms keys, and I know I said in the gas station that wasn't showing off keys, but that's only because in the dorms you practically do need the keys to even profit a little bit of money. So, we're going to come through here. This is three-story dorms. I'll be putting up a map right now, showing you guys where the dorms area is. This is the second story dorms right here. Uh, we're going to run through here onto the first floor, and we're going to make our way towards the third. So right here, we have a little um, manager's office. There actually is a few cabinets and a key spawn right here. So be sure to check these cabinets right here. Running through here at the edge of the first floor, there's a graphics card chance right here where the shampoo is. So be sure to check that. Um, running up the stairs onto the second floor. To our right, we have a door that can be opened. And to our left, there's also a door that can be opened. So be sure to check here. There's a lot of PvP around here. We have a weapon box, another weapon box, and a third weapon box. And we have some food spawns right here. Right here is actually room 214. You're going to be needing the dorms room 214 key right here. It does go for around 10 to 30k on the flea market. I think it's like 20k right now. It's definitely worth it. Vault right here and some ammo spawns right there. And running towards the end of the second story of the third story dorms, we have room 204. Opening up 204, we also have a vault right here that can be searched. And we have um, some loose ammo spawns right here. Making our way towards the third floor, we go up these stairs. And right here to the right, there is actually um, an openable door. So be sure to check here. What I like to do is when I run up these stairs is I'll check right here. Check there. And then I'll slow peek and check this. And I'll run towards here, towards the end of the hallway. And towards the end of the hallway is actually the marked room. The infamous marked room, which I'll open and show off. You can find some great deal of um, spawns. Like here we found the whole unique. I'm not sure how much these are on the flea market. Um, sometimes they go up upwards of like 700k. You know, this is an offline raid, so I'm going to be dropping that. But yeah, a lot of great stuff here that can be found. So how I leave the third story dorms is actually I'll go through here. I'll be sure that I'm paying attention that I'm not overweight. If I'm overweight, I'll drop my backpack right over here and I'll drop. Make sure I drop on this fence, run a little, drop one more and that's how you get down without breaking your legs. If I drop my backpack, I'll pick it up right here. Also, right here is the dorms V extract. Sometimes there is a van here. And if there is a van here, you can actually use 7,000 rubles if you have 7,000 rubles on you to extract through here. Now, that is the three-story dorms. We're now going to be running towards the second-story dorms, as we can see right here. And we can actually run through the front door, or we can run towards the side of the second-story right there.
All right, so basically in the second story dorms, there is a bunch of rooms to be looted. Um, a lot of these doors do open. We got some two ammo uh, weapon boxes there. We have actually down the hall, a bunch of cabinets. There's some cabinets in here and there is a cabinet down here. Ton of cabinets right there. We got a lot of loot to be looted here, um, but mainly it's the bottom floor that has all the good stuff. Weapon box, duffel bag through here. We actually have another weapon box. Through here, we have loose um, food spawns right there and here. And over here, we have the two vault rooms, 110, which is needed for the this key right here, the blue key, dorm room 110 key. Vault right there. There is loose loot spawns right here. And 114, the blue key as well, will be going through here. And we can actually find another vault, a PC, and a med box. Over here... We actually have, um, I believe this is called the dorm room office key. It's It spawns like ammo crates. I don't have it just because I don't like looting it. It doesn't have, sometimes it can spawn some great stuff, but I just don't think it's worth looting. Right here is the 105 key for dorm rooms. Um, as you guys can see, the blue key right here. And this is another vault room right here. Also loose uh, food spawns. And sometimes I can find some silicon tube right there. All right, running out of dorms. We're now going to be going straight through the map. We're going to be running towards um, the customs office side with Big Red. And how we're going to do that is actually I'll use this main road with for you guys. We're going to run across here. This is the bus depot right here. And um, you can use uh, the boiler side right here and the expansion side as a point of reference. Dorms, middle of the map right here. If we go down this road, we'll actually go towards gas station. And if we just follow this uh, main road, we don't have to go through the woods because that can be a little distracting and hard for some new players. All we have to do is go through the main road and there's actually a bridge that connects uh, from the river to Big Red side. Now, there are multiple ways you can go towards the Big Red side. There is the junk um, bridge and the land bridge. I'll be sure to put that up right now as well. Now, these are safer ways. Actually, the junk bridge is probably my favorite way just because it's the most low key and safest. As you guys can see right here, if we go down there, there is a connection of a little bit of a junkyard right there going through there. It is the same direction. It's the same way, but it is a little safer just because you're not going to be having to um, be out in the open on top right here. But if you're good enough, I guess it really doesn't matter as long as you're running through and hoping nobody shoots you. We're going to run here, make our way towards the train. There is a gigantic train that runs straight through here. And we're going to be coming over this way towards the big red side. Now you can go under these trains. You can also go around them for all intents and purposes. I'll be going underneath them. And over this way, we have a little guard post. Over this way will be crossroads if we go all the way down there. And as you can see, this is big red. And behind big red is the storage lot. Um, all the way down there, you guys can see it right now. I know it's a little hard with the fog, but we see this gigantic structure that actually is Crossroads. I'll be putting it up on the map right now. Now, there is some loot spawns over at Big Red, and I'll be showing you how to get through here. So there actually is a crack in the wall right here. You can run through right there. In this blue building, there is some loot spawns right here. We'll be making our way through here. Um, we got some cabinets, med box. Big red over there, you'll be needing the office key if you guys want to be looting the big red. Um, I show off big red in some previous videos, but for the sake of the video, I'll be sure to come in and show you guys. I'm 90% sure I have the key on me, so let's hope I do. Going through above these stairs. There is some weapon boxes and some loose loot over there that you guys can be looting, um, but basically this is the best part of the entire place. I do have the key. Also, be sure to watch out for right here. People can climb this and camp it um, because they know you need to come here for quests opening up the big red with the customs office key right here we can actually open this door there is a duffel bag and a few pcs right here and here and we can loot those three and we can actually breach this room come over here jacket vault loose loot and we got a quest piece right here if you're on the Delivery from the past quest. All right, running through here, we can make towards um, another lootable little building, this blue building right here. Just like the other one, we got some cabinets, weapon box, stuff like that. 
and actually i'm gonna skip it just because you guys get the gist we're gonna take a right right here passing these trucks and this is what is called the trailer park so yes there is an extract right here and i did say it does spawn every single time so actually it is called trailer park and it's in these trees right over here so if we keep running we go inside these trees and if we keep going there will be the extract right here as you guys can see i'm extracting now i'm not going to extract just yet because i want to show off the crossroads and the storage so right here we do have the edge of the map again now this is in contrary to zb11 edge of the map these are polar opposites of where we first started off so if we come through right here this is crossroads over there now both of these extracts work the same you can go to either one depending whichever one you're closer to and depending on whichever one you feel more comfortable with whenever i'm running my loot routes i usually like to take uh actually the trailer park just because it's a little safer a little bit more low-key and i don't have to run through the side of big red but it's totally up to you they're both great extracts just make sure you clear it out before you get camped and over here is the storage lot there is a bunch of loose loot spawns inside of each one of these little containers and there are some chances of graphics cards um loose loot stuff like that checking these and whatnot so there's a few cars that you can check as well um but for all intents and purposes you guys get the gist i'm not going to be going inside instead i'll be showing off the crossroads extract right here there is a little van with a weapons box if you guys want to check that but that is the entire raid and we're gonna be extracting right now wow that was a long one that was nearly 30 minutes hopefully this was concise and helped out all right everybody that's going to conclude our entire customs loot and map overview hopefully this video helped you guys out gave you a little bit of insight of where to go what to loot and hopefully would help out some newer players thank you guys for all the love and support i appreciate all the comments and likes and some people even comment commenting for the algorithm. I love that. I appreciate it a lot. If you guys stick through the entire video, I highly, highly appreciate it. Thank you guys. You guys are the ones making this happen. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Have a blessed day. Catch you later.